Fannie Mae has announced that they are going to allow wannabe landlords to purchase two, three, and four unit properties with only 5% down payment in a move that will actually expand the number of landlords throughout the entire country. I'm Tony, and this is Real Estate Investing in Landlord News. All right, so I have an interesting article for you today, and it's going over these new rules for multifamily lending that Fannie Mae has proposed. Now, I don't normally cover articles like this. I'm more covering like landlord type stories, but I like this because it actually uses a, a way for people to get started into real estate investing. You know, I mean, it's a lot easier to come up with a 5% down payment than it is to come up with a 25% down payment. The rules, the way they were written before were you needed 25% down if you wanted to own or occupy and live in a four unit property. So you would live in one unit, rent out the other three. And if the place cost, uh, let's say $300,000, we had to have 25% down or 75 grand, which is, you know, it's, it's too much. Most people, they'll never be able to come up with 75 grand. And, you know, it's just doesn't seem very reasonable. But what is a reasonable amount for most people to be able to come up with, right? And, you know, for a $300,000 property, if you can come up with $7,500, well, that's, you know, that's actually within the realm of reality. You know, a lot of people are going to be able to come up with that much money and then they'll be able to purchase property, live in it and be a landlord. You know, maybe the tenants will pay enough of the rent so that, they don't owe anything at all and maybe make a little bit extra. So before I get into the article, go ahead, hit the like, subscribe button, maybe leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Have you ever considered house hacking? Or did you start with your real estate investments by house hacking, which is, you know, basically you live in one of the units, you rent out the additional units in a small multifamily property. And as I've uh, shared before on this channel, that's actually one of the ways that I used to get started in real estate investing. When I lived in Tucson, Arizona, I bought a fourplex and I lived in one of the units and I rented out the other three. Now I used FHA financing, which meant I only had to put three and a half percent down and the total down payment due to the property only being about $152,000 was only around five grand, okay? I mean, I, I got away with a property that appreciated wildly and you know made me a ton of money with five grand, okay? That's unbelievable nowadays, but you, know, you, you get the point after a while that this is a smart way to get started in real estate investing. So anyway, let's get into this article, see what it says. This article is coming from more, themortgagereports.com and it says, Fannie Mae introduces a 5% down payment option for multifamily homes. And they're gonna go over a few of the more specific details. Let's get into it. Lowered down payment requirement for multifamily homes. In a significant policy change, Fannie Mae has announced that starting from the weekend after November 18th, 2023, it will accept 5% down payments for owner-occupied two, three, and four unit homes. This marks a departure from the previous multifamily financing requirement of 15 to 25% down payments for duplexes, triplexes, and fourplexes. This new option presents a great opportunity for individuals looking to invest in multifamily homes while also enjoying the benefits of home ownership. Prospective owner landlords can now afford these properties more easily thanks to the reduced down payment required by Fannie Mae, right? And yeah, like I said, this is a great option. And what a lot of people they'll say is, oh, well, people will lie and say that they're going to actually live in the property when they're not, they have no intention of doing so, just so they can acquire multifamily properties with only 5% down and it never actually being owner occupied, right? There might be a few bad players out there who would do such a thing, right? But I'm pretty sure the grand majority of people who are signing up for these types of loans actually intend on living in these properties. And normally it's the case where you only have to live in the property for one year before you're able to move on and find a different place to purchase. So if you're a very aspirational type person, you know, you could just do this several times over. So basically you buy a fourplex, live in one of the units, rent out the other three, right? Live in it for about a year. And then the next year you buy another fourplex, 
live in one of the units, rent out the other three, and then you buy another fourplex, right? You know, you just keep doing this until you acquire enough properties to actually have a decent sized portfolio and a decent amount of rental income. And this is what gets the ball rolling for people. Like I said, I did this myself and it was a lot easier for me to acquire properties with a small down payment versus me sitting there trying to, you know, save up and get 25% or using, you know, weird lending techniques or whatever, right? And, you know, I, I just want more people to be able to invest in real estate. I want people to be able to uh, get started in doing this sort of thing because it's a great way to build wealth. It's a great way to, um, you know, just get your financial situation improved. So, yeah, I, I thought I'd bring this article up. Um, you know, it's this isn't a very long video, but, you know, uh, I wanted to share this information for people out there who are interested in becoming a landlord and wanted to look for a lower cost way of doing it.